Melee Gamers, Wilda here and welcome to my new video. Did you guys know Mordhau can actually be a ton of fun and you don't even have to be good? A lot of fun stuff is kinda hidden and there is a chance you missed something that could entertain you for hours. In this video I'll share all of the fun stuff I know you can do. This video will contain also tips about how to do it so you can have even more fun. Also, majority of the video is about frontline and invasion but we will get to the community servers at the end of the video. If you enjoy this video, feel free to like and subscribe. And we will start with my most favorite go-to fun tool in the game, bear traps. They get easy kills, they are annoying and they are funny. But it's not fun to have just one bear trap. With one simple trick, which I will reveal shortly, you can easily have 4 bear traps every time you spawn. And then you can plant the traps around important objectives, use them to block paths or ladders and play around them. You can put most of the bear traps anywhere and people will still trip over them, even if they are not hidden. However, hiding your bear traps definitely helps, which is why I will show some favorite spots. You can put them behind corners, let them blend with environment, put them on dark spots, on dead bodies or dead horses, into the grass and bushes, on stairs or into these, I don't know what the hell is this, and many more. Also, some maps are better and some are worse, but there's always place for bear traps, even on a snow map. In past, teammates used to trigger bear traps by stepping over them, which was recently removed, so that's why this playstyle is even more enjoyable now, as you don't have to stress about your teammates. Lastly, I'd like to give you a very cheesy trick. Take Mule Perk, which provides extra inventory slot, pick one weapon of your choice and two bear traps. Then go ahead to the Super Eye box, drop your bear traps, refill and take the bear traps from the ground. Now we have four bear traps, one of them you can plant immediately or just leave it on the ground and another three bear traps in your inventory slots. You can only have 4 bear traps activated, so that's why this trick is useful, because you can have weapon and 4 bear traps easily. Plant traps on funny spots, frequent routes, take your favorite weapon and have fun. Toolbox, my favorite utility item for 24 points. Allows you to build spikes, walls, spawn banners, ballistas and fire pits. And with a little bit of thinking, we can turn those into something beautiful. We just spoke about bear traps, so let's stay a bit at traps, but this time spike traps. Planting spikes on unexpected places, around corners, behind bushes or at places where players mindlessly jump down is a good idea to get some easy kills. Another possibility is to build spikes facing each other on a frequent route. Players will think that these spikes are there to protect their territory and will not pay much attention to them, simply walking over them and into them. Alternatively, you can use smoke pot to hide these spikes for a short amount of time. Or get creative and block off the grat entrance with spikes, let enemies in, close the door and burn them to death. This one is from Dearrich, and this one I invented myself. On dungeon, you can create this narrow path for the enemies. Some of them will not take it, but some of them will. Creativity is the limit. Walls can be used to create what I call water slide. If you create two rows of walls in very specific range from each other, the players will trip and ragdoll, because they are in free falling animation. You can use these on ladder exits or you can use them for fun with other players. If you're not feeling very creative, you can support your team with spikes, walls around important objectives and set up spawners near the battlefield. My most favorite build of all time is Battle Engineer with Polax. I enjoy this loadout because you are speedy, you have decent weapon for fighting and with your toolbox you can support your team and be annoying for the enemy team. 
What I enjoy the most about this loadout is that I can experiment with spawn banners. It's really fun to mess around and find out and invent new places for unspawn banners that are hard to spot and hard to destroy. Speedy, almost naked guy runs into the front lines, finds a sneaky place close to the battlefield to set up the banner, uses blunt side of the polex to quickly set it up. And when he has an opportunity, he builds some annoying spikes in the bushes. But that would not fit into this video, as this requires at least some combat skills. So if that is not appealing to you, you can also camp in the back with toolbox ballista. Do not forget to place fire close to the toolbox to get some extra damage. But be aware that not every map or objectives are friendly to some of these playstyles. Last toolbox loadout I want to talk is the Siege Engineer. If you like catapults, you can create your loadout around them. Bring hand axe for repairing, toolbox for building and smoke against fire pots, as that will be your biggest enemy. Press H to see your teammates through the walls, shoot few times to get the feeling of the range and try to kill more enemies than teammates. If your catapult is damaged, try to repair it but be aware of nearby teammates, who might want to steal your catapult. If there is a fire, throw a smoke pot, and if enemy has a lot of cavalry, block them off with walls or spikes. You can also use the toolbox to build fire pit to upgrade your shots. Lastly, the toolbox can be used to get out of bounds on some maps, but that requires sacrificing your life to finding in-game exploits for many hours, and it is very useful but can be fun. Just wanted to mention that here, as some people really like to mess around this stuff. If you haven't seen my video about one thing Mordhau does better, you already know Mordhau has Team Fortress 2 energy. In Mordhau, there is a lot of fun to have just by simple interactions with other players. Use voice lines, emotes and be nice to each other. Do not kill enemy bards or even become bard yourselves. This is quite difficult to explain. You need to feel the game's energy. Mordhau is a chaotic game, full of weird but friendly people. You can find friendly players within the game so easily and just have some nice social moments. Do not interrupt friendly players. Join them, have some fun and enjoy this unique social aspect of the game. There is a lot of players enjoying the game this way. One guy I've bumped into a few times is called Hufflech. I'm sorry if I mispronounce. He plays Dwarf with Toolbox, Hammer and Medkit. He doesn't really engage in combat. He only builds spawn banners, throws medkits and he emotes very well. And here I have another example of social interactions. Quite recently I've built this cheese spawner on the tree and someone from the enemy team noticed, and he was shocked. We chatted a little, and more people came up, and then we were eventually chilling, until the next objective. It's just that easy. I will now talk about unique playstyles and approaches to the game. One of them is Bow Thief. Instead of doing objective, your goal is now to steal bows. Use smoke pot to get closer to the archers, hit them, steal their bow and run away. I also recommend using Pavis shield as it will block all of the throwables coming at your back. You can turn your back to an enemy archer when they are shooting at you. This playstyle is really fun to go when enemies have a lot of archers and you do not care about the objectives and you just want to be the pain in the ass. The other playstyle I have here is using stones only. This playstyle belongs to Asdog, an European player who only uses stones to kill the enemies. There is some trick to using stones, and you can actually one-shot everyone, even without significant height advantage. I unfortunately do not know this trick, but if you do, please leave it in the comments. However, this playstyle is very map dependent, and not every map has an easy access to stones. Another special loadout is Medic. For example, you can set your goal to be the top of the scoreboard without killing anyone, just by getting points from healing your allies. 
I think medkits do not have any restriction, but they disappear after some time. You can take 3 medkits, resupply and just throw medkits everywhere, even from for your opponents and have some fun with them. I told you to steal bows from annoying archers and now we are gonna get annoying. Loadout full of throwable weapons, sounds good right? 3 javelins, 3 throwing axes, 3 rocks or 3 throwing knives, that's totally up to you. Just make sure to get the rest of the useful perks like resupply, mule, cat and others. If you don't feel well without any weapon, you can take some and then use the resupply box trick I showed you earlier to duplicate your throwables. Everything I talk about apply for friendline and invasion. However, there's a lot of entertainment to experience on other servers, especially community servers with different mods, but Mordhau is mixed with elements of Minecraft, other games and other fun stuff. And now we will return to Frontline and Invasion, because here I have two honorable mentions. But I will break what I promised, no skill needed for having fun. These two tips are a lot of fun, but you need to be at least decent in the game. The first one is just going fists. Your only defensive tool is your movement, which is a tough challenge, but with a little bit of practice you can enjoy humiliating players by killing them with fists. And don't be scared. Even quite good players like me can fall for some fist feints. If you got interested, go check out YouTube of Fist Only Guy to get inspired on his playstyle. And second honorable mention goes to Peasant Playstyle. Peasant work restricts you to peasant weapons only and only light armor hat. In this video, I promise to provide options that do not require skill, which I think I did quite well, but you can see already that this peasant loadout doesn't belong here. But I wanted to mention it, because what's more funny than humiliating players with peasant tools. And actually, some of these weapons are quite strong for dragging, but you still have to be without any armor, which usually means you are dead in one or two hits. To conclude this video, try to find playstyle that suits you, whether that is helping the team with toolbox buildings, using bear traps, using throwing weapons or just enjoying social interactions. Mordhau provides options for any playstyle, whether you wish to be support, annoying or troll. Did I forget something? Are you going to try something from this list? Let me know down in the comments and see you next time. Also, Consider subscribing to the channel and give a like if you enjoyed the video.